Well, I'm here in my hometown of Boston, uh, representing New York City DOT, and I'm here with my colleagues and counterparts from Portland, Oregon, San Francisco, really talking about bicycle policy and the bicycle uh, improvements that we've implemented in our cities over the last few years. We did a public presentation last night, about 100 people came, and I think it was really well received. The events highlighted some of the best uh, bicycle transportation planning that's taking place in the U.S. Portland, Oregon, uh, New York City, uh, San Francisco are all on the cutting edge and are really examples that other cities uh, can follow. It was interesting because we got a, a nice perspective. We had a lot of students there, a lot of young people who were eager to get involved and understand where their place might be in this new movement of bicycling that we have across the country, so it was encouraging. The Cities for Cycling event was fabulous last night. It's a chance to hear about what's happening around the country. I've probably been at 10 presentations in my life that I think about and that still affect my practice today. Last night was, I have to put into one of those 10. It was amazing. And I feel like I've fast forward the video of Boston to show us what the future can be like. And it was incredible. We want to get the information out there. So cities around the country, maybe they hear a little bit about what different cities are doing. Maybe they've heard a little bit about the innovation, but they don't have good designs. Their engineers don't really know what we're doing. And so Cities for Cycling is really a way to share that information. Part of the Cities for Cycling program is an urban bikeway design guide uh, that takes best practices not only from the U.S. but from around the world, puts them into one place that's easily accessible so uh, city transportation officials, elected officials, advocates can really have uh, something in one book that shows the best in bikeway planning and, and how they can make their city a great place to bike. Put it down on paper, put it on the web, make it available to planners, make it available to traffic engineers all around the country, and put a little pressure on the federal government, right? Because we need to be able to use federal dollars if we're gonna build these bikeway networks in our urban areas. And when we get the federal dollars, we wanna make sure that we're building the best possible designs. Uh, a bunch of us from the NACTO cities rode in this morning in our nice suits. We all look great. Uh, the people in Boston, the cyclists were fantastic. The ride was uh, really fun. It's a great turnout here on a beautiful day. This is like the first steps. You're getting everybody out to ride their bicycles, get the whole point out that bicycling is an everyday active transportation exercise and that people can enjoy themselves and have fun. And here we are, we've reduced our carbon footprints and we've also reduced traffic congestion and improved air quality. So what a win-win for everybody. I think it's a wonderful thing, you know, we we're embarking on this little road show. This is the first stop. We're, you know, showcasing the innovative bicycle treatments that are in place around the country and we've got all the greatest minds here. What we want to do is get you, your input on some things we're thinking about. Um, so really bringing the best minds together. Today we're going to take a tour of Boston's newest bike facilities uh, with some officials from NACTO's Cities for Cycling. You know, I looked at all the expertise in the room and it was just powerful. I mean, it was so many very, very smart, very experienced bike planners and together that group really can change change the country. We were invited by the mayor's office and the Department of Transportation here in Boston to hear about what we're doing, to hear about um, our network plans, our, our street designs, because Boston wants to be bootstrap up and become you know one of the emerging bike-friendly cities in the country. You know, we're planning more of these in the fall. We'll be in Baltimore, Philadelphia, and perhaps out in the middle of the country in the West Coast before the end of the year.